This is a really quick and easy supper dish. It's my pasta carbonara. I use a streaky smoky bacon, a little bit of chili, which is optional, uh, some fresh garlic, a little bit of cream, parmesan cheese. That's it. And of course the pasta. This recipe I've suggested you use 500 grams of pasta, which is pretty much a whole packet and I've used linguine, but I'm using half a packet because there's only my daughter and I in for supper today. So um, I'll have more sauce, but I'll just keep it in the fridge, which I'm sure we'll eat over the next couple of days. So the first thing I'm going to do, I actually use uh, scissors to cut my bacon and I'm going to cut them into small pieces and fry them in a dry pan without any oil. And I'll just show you how big I want these pieces to be. They're what they, what they call lardon size, okay? And I'm going to add them to a really hot pan. Now the reason why we're not adding any oil to this pan is because we want the fat in the bacon to actually melt in the pan, which it will do and it will go beautifully crisp. So we don't want to mess around with it too much. You can see it's stuck to the pan, that's absolutely fine, don't worry. When it is lovely and brown, it will um, release itself, as I will show you in a few minutes. So that's going to take a good five minutes in a hot pan. Keep a little bit of an eye on it. But you want it to get lovely and brown. Not too crisp and burnt, but lovely and golden and brown. As you can see, they're starting to go nice and golden, those little bits of bacon. We don't want them to dry out to a frazzle, but obviously the more uh, golden colour they have, the more flavour they'll have. So this bacon's been cooking for approximately five minutes and it's this lovely colour I'm going to show you. It's a wonderful golden colour on the edges, but it's still very juicy and delicious. And I'm going to add my garlic now. I didn't add my garlic before because I don't want it to burn because burnt garlic is really disgusting. So it's eight rashes of streaked smoky bacon, one clove of garlic, a pinch of dried chilies, which is optional. And I wouldn't add salt because there's quite a lot of salt in bacon. And you pro probably won't need pepper because you've got the pepperiness from the chili. And all that remains to add to this little concoction, when the garlic's had a little bit of a melt, is 150 mils of cream. And I use single cream in this recipe because it's slightly lower in fat. And that is it. My pasta I've already boiled and drained. And just a little bit of a tip, when you boil your pasta and drain it, rinse it under cold water if you're not eating it immediately. Loads of cold water till it goes cold. And drizzle a little bit of olive oil and then the pasta won't stick together. So let's just add the cream. Let's add the cream now. And just give it a little stir. I'm going to turn it down a bit. And then I've got, I said between 50 and 100 grams of Parmesan. I love my Parmesan, so I'm closer to 100 grams. And I'm going to add half of it into the cream now. And just let it melt slowly. So I've got my pasta in this pan here. It's been drained and rinsed with cold water and I've run some olive oil through it so that the actual strands of pasta aren't going to stick together. And I'll simply reheat it in the microwave when I'm ready to serve or toss it through the hot carbonara sauce. And then we're done. So let's put the dish together and see what it looks like. This dish really couldn't be easier. If you think about it, it's just bacon and a bit of cream and some Parmesan cheese. And I recommend buying the Parmesan. Um, it is quite expensive, but the flavour is so rich and intense, it works really well with this dish. So my sauce, is, the cream is heated through and that's about the extent of it. I've got my pasta here, which I drained. And I'm going to add it to my sauce. And it's ready to serve. So give it a good old stir and coat the pasta in this delicious creamy bacon sauce. This is real comfort food and it's one that the kids really, really enjoy. That'll do just so I can show you how it serves. My family are going to be eating this a little bit later on, so there we go. And I've got a nice little serving dish here to put it in. generous amount of pasta.
that should do it. And something really, really nice that you can do, okay, um, carbonara traditionally has egg yolk that's stirred through it to enrich the dish, but something I saw in a restaurant in France recently was where the egg yolk came in the eggshell, sat on top of the pasta, ready for the customer to pour the yolk in and through the heat of the pasta, it cooks it. Now, if you're a bit of afraid of raw egg, we'll think that's a bit disgusting, I understand, but um, it really is delicious. So um, just one egg yolk per person if you really wanted to do something fancy. And I've even put a little basil leaf on the side. And that's it, my very, very easy pasta carbonara. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs>